So we have a 24-7 hotline. Um, so when our interns come here and work for us, they are in charge of answering phone calls. Um, most of the time it's going on bird rescues as well. So in this case with the Osprey, a man called at Winley Key State Park. He was a state ranger, a, par a park ranger. And um, he had seen this bird in the canopies and he thought that it was stuck. Um, so he actually managed to catch him and bring him in. Um, he is fully flighted, so that was very impressive. We never had a patron actually catch a fully flighted osprey and bring him in. Um, but we did find some eye trauma, so that's what we were just treating. Um, and just some dehydration. Uh, aside from that, he is healthy. So we are hoping that the eye trauma clears up um, and we can get him into our flight cage in the next week or so. Um, we'll ask them one of two questions. Uh, we ask them, can they contain the bird? Um, or do they need us to come pick it up? Um, so sometimes we'll go pick up the bird from them, sometimes we have to rescue them when we go, um, or if we're lucky they'll bring them to us since we are small staff. Um, it's a lot easier for us to have the bird come into us than to have to leave the patients to go get another patient. But yeah, so in any case, the bird will come to us uh, and we'll take them into this room, so the exam room, and we'll intake them. Um, so we have a paper form on all the cages identifying the birds and we check for any physical injuries, any bleeding, um, anything that needs to be addressed immediately, and then we put them away. Um, obviously it's a very stressful experience for a wild bird, for one, to be injured, and for two, to be caught up by a human, three, to be transported here, and four, to have us staring at them. So <laughs> we put them away. Um, we'll check on them after 10 minutes or so, um, and then kind of do a more thorough exam. If we think they need meds, we'll go ahead and start them on meds. Um, and then from there, it's coming up with a treatment plan. So in this guy's case, he has no wing fractures, which is awesome. Um, we actually don't have a cage large enough to rehab uh, an injured osprey when it comes to wing fractures. So because he doesn't have a wing fracture, we can. Um, so we're going to heal up his eye trauma. We keep them on fluid therapy while they're here, especially if they're not eating. Um, so since osprey don't eat in captivity, we have to keep them on fluids every day or they get dehydrated really fast. Um, and then we also have to force feed them two times a day to maintain their weight. Um, thankfully he wasn't skinny or it would be an uphill battle with that too. Um, so it's a lot of hands-on work, especially uh, in cases where we have birds that are pelagic. So that's a typical case in the Keys where we get birds that live offshore. Um, so by the time that somebody found, finds them onshore, um, they're pretty sick, they're pretty far gone. Um, versus, you know, a typical baby season that we just came out of where we're getting healthy babies. They're either orphaned or um, we, we affectionately call it bird napped. Uh, but it's where people will find a healthy bird. Um, they don't see any parents around, so they bring it to us. And then most of the time we end up re-nesting them. So we'll take them back, put them back in the nest, and the parents re-adopt them. <laughs> Wade, the next step is to load him up in the crate, and then we'll transport him to the sanctuary. So like I said before, we can't have rehab birds on display uh, to the public. So what we did was we built some smaller cages behind our display cages at the sanctuary, um, just so we had extra room. Obviously, we don't have a lot of room here at the hospital. Um, so we have larger cages out there. We'll put them outside, then they can get used to the weather, and we can make sure that they can eat in a larger space. Um, so he'll probably be gone within a week, we'll release him. So usually the one month mark is as long as we'd like to keep birds, um, especially if they're not improving. We try to make a decision as soon as possible so they're not suffering. Um, but because all we really had to do was fatten him up <laughs> and uh, get rid of his parasites, it was a quick turnaround.